Hey, so I'm just freshly off the plane and I'm back. And man, I've got a mountain of stuff to do. See what I did there, mountain? Yeah, that's not very good. Anyway, um, welcome back to Sling Caper. So let's have a look to see where we're at and uh, see what we've even got. When we left, of course, um, the fuselage had just turned up and we'd managed to squeeze it in here. Um, and that was a real mission. And I didn't, never really got a good chance to have a good look around it. So let's spend the time now and we'll have a look around, see what we've got. Okay, so we've had the um, quick build fuselage, obviously, because there's only so much time that I've got to do it. So it certainly makes it a lot easier getting it to this stage. A few options that come with it. Nowadays, apparently, this is standard that the, the canopies put on it. Glenn ordered have the windows installed as well, so that's one less thing we have to worry about. The other thing he did is paid to have the undercarriage installed because he figured it would be easier to move it around. One of the things we have noticed is that Glenn had wanted to order the Behringer wheels. They are not, obviously, so I'm not quite sure where we're at with that, whether that's going to be changed out. That's something we'll have to deal with, and of course it will change here as well um, if we do that. Um, so this is the revision of the fuselage we've got. The hinges on this one, if we can see up there, that's what they look like these days, 2024. Um, the fit was something I was interested in, and it seems to fit quite nicely. Obviously, I'm going to have to take these off in order to fit the mechanism. Um, but for now, that's where that's at. Um, moving around here, it's all set up for the um, com antenna with the cable already in it um, around here obviously the whole thing's been elodyned or what do they call it now bondorite or something um, cables already installed for various bits and bobs antenna cables and you know all the stuff that goes on the back lights and, and, the, and the like we've got the rudder cables down the bottom there and they run into the fuselage there's another cable hanging out the bottom um, that one is, I think it's the magnetometer one, but I have to have a, a look at that. Then, uh, and then inside, not sure if we can see in there, it's a little bit dark. So this is where we're going to be starting really with the rudder cables and the like. You can see some Clecos in there holding the fair leads in place. So that'll all have to be um, made a little bit more permanent. Um, yep, there's the parachute box and it doesn't have the bit sticking out the front. So again, I think that's BRS. Um, I did actually make a little bit of a start to the planning of the avionics while I was away. I've been really busy actually with planning for lots of things on this machine. Um, and I just sent this through to Harry just to get a, a bit of an idea about where I may or may not mount some of the equipment that's going in there. So um, we can just sort of see that sitting on there. It's obviously a work in progress, but that's some of it. Um, I do intend here to... Um, use solid fuel lines so that'll be coming out through here it does actually hit, um, interfere with the inside skin so that'll need a little bit of changing um, just around here um, and then one of the other changes we've got is this thing here so the, the cabin heat normally if I scan back here again there's um, the cabin heater goes in here with a heat exchanger and fan unit and everything just like a car so the coolant comes in through here and, and um, acts as your heater. Now it's different now and this apparently started with the high wing and they've moved it onto the TSI where it uses a heat muff from the exhaust just like um, Cessnas and Pipers and the like, similar sort of deal. So the, the main exhaust is sort of sit around here somewhere with a heat exchanger muff. The air comes in um, through here, goes inside this channel which sits well somehow well, not that way up it'll have to be somehow like that I guess so it comes in the bottom hole there and through this top one and then into the inside and the inside has a splitter now one thing that's going on here I'll just mention it very briefly a, a change that I'm going to make um, this has this gadget here with a flapper valve and an electric um, flapper valve mechanism. I think this bit here gets discarded and we just use the, the actuator 
on a flapper valve that turns the heat on and off. Now this thing from best I can work out, particularly since it's only got two pins but also from the data online, is that this is either full open or full closed. Um, not a huge fan of that so I think that that's probably going to change for our installation but that's early days for that yet. Um, just having a quick look at that. There's our uh, firewall forward package with everything that comes with it. Um, well, with a few exceptions which I'll come to in a minute. And then over here we've got the fuselage skins and the like. And then everything else is sitting over here. So we've got canopy, um, there's some of the brake stuff is going on in there. Um, cowling and a few of the fairings, windscreen up the top there, the uh, bit that holds the instrument panel in place and just various other bits and pieces, seats and, and other mouldings and the like. Now this is most of it, We, as, as for all of the kits that came, that we ordered, we ordered the fuselage, quick build variety, the canopy, wheels and brakes, and firewall forward and finishing kit. So all of that turned up in this lot. Um, however, back ordered parts, they total 43, 43 back ordered parts. And you know, I don't really want to make this a bitch session, but I've got to say, I'm really unimpressed with the way that they do business with us. Um, they send you these kits and, and say, you know, you're missing out on these parts. Good luck, see you later and there doesn't seem to be any system in place to make sure that you get it. 43, seriously? Come on guys, 43 parts is, you know, that's, in my mind, is, is not good. So I know that the Americans have got a different system and clearly Sling are really only interested in America. I can kind of understand that from a business perspective, but, you know, come on guys, if you're going to take people's money, do the right thing. Anyway, that's my gripe, but uh, there's some cool stuff that we've got to do in here. And so that's the general look around. So day one, and we're into it, um, starting on this, installing these into the, um, into the fuselage. I've taken the stick off the end there for well, a couple of reasons. One of them is to stop banging around, just because it's going to be sitting in there with um, nothing joining them together or anything, and, and also to keep them out of the way. So that's... Um, that's that. So these bushes are interesting things. Um, obviously you want them to spin as freely as possible because you know if, if one of them binds up just a tiny bit and the next one binds up just a little tiny bit and the whole system it all adds up so obviously we want to keep these as free as possible. Now the, the, if you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a very tiny amount of slot from side to side which is a good thing so that kind of um, means that if I keep that parallel or perpendicular depending on which way you're looking at it um, then that will spin freely and indeed it does but one thing I have noticed with it is these brackets here the gap in here is just a little bit too tight so when they actually when they actually install these things they they squeeze these bushes in a little bit and it puts them out around um, and you know you can see there that there's not a lot of meat in between the inside of this, oops, the inside of this um, cutout here and the base of it. So it's actually quite a thin thing really as far as plastic goes. And with this having a little bit of, um, of friction fit, just a little bit worse than that in actual fact, just being a little bit too tight, it deforms this thing, the bush. And of course this aluminium is you know it's not precision ground or anything so it's not perfectly round and so it's kind of like one egg shaped thing inside another egg shaped thing and so it binds in certain spots on the way around so I've just had to take this out a little bit on both sides and once you do that it, it just sort of plops straight in um, and that then will, will you know it'll, the whole thing will turn quite freely on there now of course that does run the risk when that's sort of a bit of a looser fit that this will actually spin in the mount which is something you don't want so I'm going to use a little bit of JB weld in there to hold that and then of course the next problem is going to be getting this angle here 110 
10% correct. So it's not sort of trying to push this on an angle when it's installed. So I think what it's really going to mean is just install it with um, Clecos holding these these two pieces together so I can take it off again and just keep installing it in place and taking it out um, just to make sure I can get that angle just how I want it and get it to, to sit perfectly so the thing is um, turning freely. Now another thing uh, of interest while we're dealing with this which I found really frustrating actually um, so let me just get that out of the way so here we go here's the mechanism here and this this bracket that I just showed you, there's four holes in the top. Here it is here. There's two of them. So when I went to school, four plus four is eight. You know, maybe in this new age it's a little bit different, but um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be eight still. So it's held in, in place with these uh, four by 16 button head screws. Uh, it says four. Well, I'm pretty sure there needs to be eight. So that's okay. Now when we look at the, the kit packing list, M4 by 16 buttonhead screws 14, it actually says in here the standard kit is 12 plus 2, but the C, I think it must mean complete uh, and 2. So that's all they've given us is 2. Now we come back up to the washers for the same thing, and it says M4 washers and need 8. Well that's fantastic. Only problem is, on here, not to be found on the list. So you don't realise you actually haven't gotten them until you go to install them because they haven't given them to you. And then lock nuts, it says we need four. Well, of course, we know we need eight. We've done that maths already. And again, looking on here, zilch. So that, you know, it's, it's well, I'd say it's minor, but it's not really. It's annoying. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so end of day one, um, I've started on the connectors, very first one, and I've got to the point that um, I think my side cutters got borrowed for other things, so they're going to be junk now anyway, so I'll get some new ones of those. Also need some heat shrink, so I can't do any more of that. So I've also been on the inside, so I'm working on the elevator torque tube. The number of bushes is considerably different to what's shown. So so I'm going to leave that until I can get a reply from Sling, just to be doubly sure. Um, I have been working on this, but um, for now I've run out of swear words, so I've just left it for a bit. But uh, just to make it as good as I'd like, there's a few little things I want to do on that. But I've just moved on from that temporarily. I've made a great job of making a mess. I've started putting the knacker ducts in here. I can't stick them in until I have some sealant. Um, another little thing that I've uh, had fun with, so I've been putting these brackets in here for the parachute cables, and you can see from that, that's, uh, well, it's more than a quarter of an inch thick. So this, the engine mount and this bolt here comes without that bracket. It assumes that the airplane's not gonna have a parachute installed. So when you do install this, you have to put this bracket on. So it follows that the bolts that go through there normally need to be lengthened. So the bolts that they supply and call out is um, just one number higher and one number on an aviation bolt is eighth of an inch. So the bolts that they supplied for it aren't long enough. We started on the seats here and I've had Glenn doing uh, some riveting that because he's been down here um, carrying out some business so he's had some time to, to do that. Just a bit of everything all over the place really. The main thing that's a little bit, that might be a little bit interesting. So we intend on putting our light switches up the top here. Um, so I've run some wiring down through the centre. It's actually pretty easy. With the new canopy, I, well I don't actually know if it's um, if it was available in the old one or not but certainly with the latest canopy there is a channel here um, I believe it's designed to put oxygen 
uh, down through there. So that's good because that runs all the way out to the front. One little trap for young players though is you would think it's just one layer through here and you'd be into that thing, but you'd be wrong. So you can see there there's, that that channel is actually attached to the top, not the bottom. So you actually have to go through two layers to get in there. But other than that, it's a piece of cake. Just a quick bit of housekeeping. I've had a few people ask me if I could let them know when I release my videos. Um, I don't have a mailing list as such, but just for the uninitiated, if you click down, oh, hang on, which side is it? That side, that side, I don't know, one of them. Um, there's a subscribe button. If you click on that, and then a bell icon will pop up, and you click on the bell icon, and then you'll get notified when I put these out. So then it saves me having to figure out who I have to send emails to. And while you're at it, Click the like button. Just let me know if you like. Other than that, you won't hear me say that too many times because I really don't like people harping on about that. Anyhow, that's it for now. Just a quick one before I get the first one off to get people back into it again. And um, we'll carry on. I've got heaps to do.